毎日乗る<笑>本当でも車買ってくれない今貧乏<笑>はい。Where I'm from in the US and also the bike shops where I live in Japan. It's Friday night and we're in a busy, popular area. So let's go ahead and check it out. So it's located here at a busy intersection right by Da'an Station. You can see there's a lot of big glass clear open windows. We've got a lot of different bikes on display. Some mountain bikes, surprisingly. I didn't think mountain biking was too popular here in Taiwan. But they've got their race bike here, the XTC. We've also got some full suspension bikes here, the Trance. Then their live line here, the road bikes, and the propel. Looks like they've got a lot of cool stuff in here. It's a pretty small shop actually, so everything is pretty crammed together. Let's go take a look inside. Looks like they've got some bags, some other bikes that we can check out. We've also got some e bikes here, so e bikes are starting to get pretty popular here. And this is pretty cool. This is a nice little frame bag here $1,200, about $30 US dollars. That's not bad. I might actually get a bag while we're here. Here we go, this seems to be their lineup of bags here from Topeak. Starting to enter. We've got a cool wall of different helmets here, giant brand helmets, and some different locks, bottle cages, water bottles, some cute ones, some different bells. We've got a little mechanic corner over here as well. Fun fact, I also used to work at a giant shop in the US in the mechanic area, and I also did some sales. So these are the city bikes, pretty popular because you can carry your kids. And they make no waste of space here. They've got some bikes hanging up, all the different road bikes, the light road bikes. Got the giant Sunweb road bike here. Looks like a really light, really light frame here. Definitely kill in the climbs with this. And this is about 95,000 Taiwanese dollars, so about、uh, 3,000 US, but full of Tegra. Not a bad price for this kind of bike. Be curious how that compares to the prices in the US. So, my wife Tung's a little bit disappointed. She really liked this bike, but she says it's a little too expensive for her. It's <laughs> So she says she likes this more than the, the Bianchi color. <laughs> And we were on something pretty similar to this, so like a road setup but with the flat handlebars, road tires. Really good for city riding. We've also got on display one of the premium models here, the Giant Propel. Really beautiful frame. I really like this one ever since they introduced it and have always wanted to sort of test ride one myself. Really nice aero frame. And this one's actually a little bit cheaper than the other one. So this one's 88,000 multiplied by three in the US dollars. So about a bit less than three grand as well for this one, Altegra. We've got the Liv bikes here as well. So Liv is Giant's female marketing brand. And this one also seems to be a bit aero as well. Full Altegra and about the same price, 98,000. So about three grand for this one as well. So, Tung didn't know about the, the Liv brand for Giant. She's still pretty new to the cycling world, but these bikes are made for women specifically, so they got a bit of a cuter style design. Mochoto kawaii design, Dani. Tung likes the more manly bicycles. So, some other bikes we got here.、Uh, the folding, sort of storable bikes here are really popular. So, we've got a couple different models here. I'm not too familiar with these brands myself. This looks to be a Halfway, an FD806. Not quite sure what those are, but you can see some of the prices here. Moving on, we got some repair stuff here, and also a couple different touring bags. So, we actually just did a tour by renting some bikes from Giant while we were in Hualien. We cycled from Hualien to Taitung, and we used some of their touring bags. We actually used these bags here. 
Was it this one? No, it was this one. And we actually bought two of these. We didn't know they had them in red color at the shop we bought them at. We bought them from the touring store. They only had black, so kind of regret not getting these here because I would have preferred the red color, but that's all right. These are still a great value. 500 Taiwanese dollars, so about 15 bucks US dollars for a great top two bag. These are really good. We really enjoyed using those on our cycling tour. And we got a couple different shoe options here as well. Some Shimano shoes. I'm a really big fan of Shimano shoes for my road shoes. I've used them mostly for my road shoes for the last few years. So these are the women's shoes. We've got two in a pair of cycling shoes, but she's currently using the mountain bike shoes just because it's easier for us to walk around a bit while we do our stuff. The train bags or the rinko bags they say in Japanese about nine hundred and fifty dollars so again about three thousand yen pretty cheap considering these are about six thousand five thousand six thousand yen fifty sixty dollars in Japan so I should have waited to buy my touring bag from the giant store because we bought ours like I said from the touring store they don't have quite as many options there um, it looks like they have quite a few other different options here so different color options different bags that you can choose from all about the same price range about five hundred Taiwanese dollars so about fifteen dollars US dollars this is the one we got the black bag here but black's always good because it matches with every color so some of the more popular bike packing bags now a lot of them are from handmade companies they're really expensive but they seem to have a lot of cheap options here that I don't see in the giant stores in Japan this is one of the triangle frame bag options you can see here this one's about one thousand Taiwanese dollars so about thirty dollars US dollars and it appears to be pretty waterproof so this is a really good value that's not available in Japan. Pretty cool to see the different things that they have here where Giant's based out of in their home country. We've also got some of their clothing options here. Some live jerseys. These go from about 1,000 to 2,000 Taiwanese dollars, so $30 and up. Some different options than the male ones here. They've got some shorts here, pretty cheap, $850, so less than 3,000 yen. Pretty good for getting into the sport. But I prefer the bib short styles that have the straps. But these are definitely also more convenient just because you can go to the bathroom easier. Next, here we've got the wall of cycling computers. Cat Eye seems to be really popular here, as it is in most of the world. We've got a whole bunch of different color options for the giant gloves. We've got some kid gloves here as well, which is pretty cool. And then the hand pump options as well. The hand pumps here are also really cheap, about $10, $15 for some of them. And a bunch of different light options. They've also got this really great multi-tool here, which has pretty much every hex wrench that you need, as well as the regular screwdriver. And this is only 200 Taiwanese dollars, so only about six US dollars, five US dollars. Really a great deal for this kind of tool. A nice case for your phone to put on top of your handlebars. Really nice if you don't have a cycling computer, you can use your phone as an alternative. How much is this? 980, so about 3,000. Topeak, really good cycling products from them. So turning around, I found this really interesting screen on these bikes. At first I had no idea what this is. It seemed to be some sort of like built-in cycling computer. And I saw this on a couple of the bikes here. And on closer look, I realized that these were some of the electric bikes. So I'm guessing this has something to do with the motor control. You can sort of monitor your current speed and stuff. So it has some built-in speedometer, I'm guessing. So that's pretty cool to see. My first time seeing these. So these motor areas, pretty massive on the down tube. This one actually has a key that you can start it with. So that's pretty interesting. And this is a fat tire style. This must be a really fun bike to ride. Here we've got one that has a more sleek frame and more sleek cyclocross tire designs. This one also has the key. Maybe that's standard on these electric bikes. I'm not sure. I haven't actually touched or used any of these before up until now. This one has some buttons so you can push for the higher speed or changing. I guess that's your light as well, I'm guessing. I'm not sure what M is for. Manual, maybe? Then of course we've got the hydraulic disc brakes. The disc brakes are the standard on the electric bikes. They have a bunch of really cheap bike packing options here. So this is one of the giant large saddlebags here. This one's about $1,000 here, so about $30. 
It doesn't seem to be 100% waterproof, but it appears to be pretty, it might be 100% waterproof actually, because look, it's got the rolling closure here, the folding closure here, and this seems to be pretty good quality. Pretty solid design. That's a killer deal. If I didn't already have my large saddlebag, I would be totally all about this. Joan seems to be entranced by this bike. This is her new favorite bike, her new dream bike. So Tuong's now, I guess, gonna try and save money so she can get this bike. That's gonna be it for our little mini tour of the giant bicycle stores in Da'an Park area here in Taipei, Taiwan. As you can see, they've got a lot of reasonable prices. You can get a lot of great things there for really cheap. At least compared to the store, the giant stores in Japan, the things here are a lot cheaper. They've got a lot more options as far as bags go for bike packing. They don't have really like the top of the line, top of the line bike packing stuff, but it's a little bit less quality, but a lot lower price, so a lot more reasonable if you're looking for stuff on a budget. Definitely come check it out. It's a really cool place. And the owner, the lady was really nice to us. I really actually wanted to get that mid uh, the body inside frame bag, but they have two sizes. One doesn't quite go all the way to the full extension of the bike, and I'm a taller rider, so I need the full extension one. It was a killer deal, only about 30 bucks, and I really wanted to get it, but they didn't have the bigger one, so I couldn't end up getting it. We'll see if we can stop by another giant store later while we're here. Um, so unfortunately, nothing new right now, but we still did get our two top two like little mini hanging bags for our wallet and cell phone um, from the giant store earlier. So. We didn't leave empty-handed and we did get our multi-tool, so don't forget about that. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you're interested in more bike shop tour videos around Japan or Taiwan, be sure to check out our playlist above. If you're interested in more videos about cycling and life in Japan, and also cycling and traveling around Taiwan, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And we'll see you next time here on Tumo Cruise.